at the World Cup. Defending champions Germany have been knocked out of the 2018 FIFA World Cup after a shock 2-0 loss to South Korea on Wednesday. The Germans did not capitalize on the majority of their chances. The second half saw the Koreans grow in confidence before they struck two goals late in the game. The loss means that Germany become the third consecutive winner of a World Cup to exit their title defense at the group stages. Elsewhere, Sweden booked their place in the round of 16 after beating Mexico 3-0 on Wednesday at the Ekaterinburg Arena. Sweden opened the scoring in the 50th minute of the game and never looked back as they put two more past a Mexico side that looked in sixes and sevens. Mexico had already booked their spot in the round of 16 after registering two wins in their first two games. Sweden's win dislodged El Tri from the top of Group F standing with that 3-0 win. Sweden have now made it to four consecutive rounds of 16 appearances at the World Cup. Five times world champions Brazil will be eyeing a spot in the round of 16 when they play Serbia in their last Group E game at the FIFA World Cup in Russia on Wednesday night. Brazil, who have struggled in both their games, are focused on putting on a better show in order to progress as the top team in the group. However, in Serbia, they have a formidable opposition who are also determined to get to the knockout stage. Serbia lie in third spot in the group, a point behind leaders Brazil and Switzerland. The Samba boys drew their first game against Switzerland before beating Costa Rica 2-0 in the dying minutes of the game. We are thinking about what we have to face, and that is the quality of Serbia. They are here due to their merits, the victory that they had, the quality of Ivankovic, Kolarov, the quality of Mitrovic, Milenkovic, of Matic, and that's it. Elsewhere, at the same time, joint leaders Switzerland will be playing a Costa Rica side that has not yet registered a point at this year's football bonanza. The Rosso Crociati are well in sight of a round of 16 spot. The Europeans will have to be at their very best to beat Costa Rica, who in the 2014 edition finished eighth. The Swiss need just a point to qualify, while their opponents will be playing for pride, having already been eliminated. The last time they met was in 2010, and Los Ticos beat the Swiss, who have had distractions with two of their players being fined for political gestures. Of course, we are happy, you know, nobody suspended, but uh, there is something uh, um, that goes a little bit more deeper and we, we should spend a little bit more time and it's not appropriate to spend it now the time because we have to think about uh, the main things, and is, which is play football. Um, and uh, it won't happen in the future, you know, because it won't be a game like this, a special game like this, so that's, that's the, the main things. Well, for more on the World Cup, we are joined live from Lagos by sports journalist and football analyst Kelvin Ekerete. Excuse me, Ekerete. Kelvin, was it a show of inexperience by the Super Eagles, or was it Argentina's firepower that led to Nigeria getting knocked out? Well, the game yesterday between the Super Eagles and Argentina was a massive show of firepower from the Argentines because they have some of the best players in the world. Higuain was there, Lionel Messi was there, as well as Angel Di Maria. They also had some very fantastic players on the bench comparing to a Nigerian side that went there with a less than awesome experience in the game that was played yesterday, Nigeria had Mikel Obi, uh, Omero, as well as Ahmed Musa as the only three players that have ever been to the World Cup. So it was a massive show of experience and firepower from uh, the Argentines that made Nigeria fall that way, knowing that most of the players that featured for the Super Eagles yesterday had never tasted this showpiece before. So uh, apart from the fact that the experience was lacking in the side of the Nigerians, the firepower and the hunger from the Argentines was just too much for the Super Eagles to handle yesterday. So yes, the firepower from Argentina was way more than that of the Super Eagles and they looked hungrier in that game. And uh, Kelvin, with Nigeria gone, African hopes lie fully on Senegal. In your opinion, what do they need to do in order to qualify?
Well, Senegal, I must tell you, uh, one of Africa's hope at the moment, they are the last. Remember, the other African teams at the tournament, uh, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, and Nigeria are finally out. And um, 3 p.m. Nigerian time tomorrow, Senegal will be playing, the whole of Africa will be watching. But what Senegal needs to do is to understand that they have to be fully concentrated. They need to concentrate on the game tomorrow. Um, 90 minutes and 95, 96 minutes, their concentration needs to be top-notch. Remember, the first game they played at uh, the World Cup was against Poland. They won that two goals to one. It was 2-0 for a very long time. And almost at the end, they lost concentration and Poland got score. And the second game they played against Japan, it was 2-1. And they were almost winning that game. And Japan equalized and made it 2-2. So tomorrow they'll be playing a very strong side that also needs qualification that's in Colombia. So they need to put on their A game. A draw will be enough for them to go through. But we know that for them to play all through the end, they need to maintain their concentration. Concent lack of concentration has been the major bane, the major problem with African teams at this World Cup. Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Nigeria, all considered very late at the World Cup. So Senegal needs to avoid this to stay on at the World Cup. Okay, thank you very much for that. That was Kelvin Ekarete there from Lagos, a sports journalist and football analyst. Thank you for that.